the global economy is looking quite uncertain and of course we're all aware of events in Europe and the importance therefore of British firms looking to go into new markets and it's in those markets where risk capacity from private banks or private insurers may be constrained where there's a key role for a UK government agency to step in and help. Other countries have export credit agencies. They're used across all the OECD exporting countries. Increasingly emerging market manufacturing countries also have export credit agencies. So we're there also to create a level playing field for British companies competing against uh, officially supported credit from other countries as well. On the credit insurance side, um, CBI members can approach us directly or they can talk to their specialist credit insurance brokers to find out how to use our policy because in giving support we ask for evidence that the private market cannot give support and our support is available on a contract by contract basis unlike the major credit insurance providers who give cover for both domestic and export trade on a whole turnover basis. On the bank guarantee side, uh, the exporter should apply to their bank, but we encourage exporters to tell us that they're approaching their bank so that we can assist in the process of engagement with the bank or point out how our products can be most effectively used. And we believe our products will make a difference. There are examples in the credit insurance market of very small exporters who may not be eligible for whole turnover support from the private market who therefore go for support on a contract by contract basis where it may not be economic for the private market but we can provide support. There will be markets like Libya or in Central Asia where there is no private market provision or very limited market provision with providing support to a wallpaper manufacturer Graham and Brown in relation to exports to the Ukraine as well as to Libya. And then on the bank guarantee side, our stance is that we're there to provide additional capacity that isn't otherwise available from the banks. And the way we do that is by saying that we do not need to support the fixed and floating charges that the banks have over the assets of the exporter. All we ask for when we're giving a guarantee where the bank retains some exposure is that we share in the security that the bank is taking for the contract in question. But we're not sharing in the fixed and floating charges and therefore our support should be genuinely additional to the financial support they can get from their bank. Uh, nor do we push the pricing further by uh, our involvement. We simply ask to share in the charges the bank is making on the exposure in question. So we hope and believe that for exporters we will be adding additional capacity without increasing the price and therefore able to fill a genuine trade finance gap.